Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna open up some of these Series 2 uh, cards that we picked up on our most recent road trip video. I was able to pick up a um, hanger box and a blister pack and a blaster, but I'm gonna save the blaster for another video. I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze it all into one. If for some reason this goes really quickly, I may try to get in there, but I highly doubt it. So, uh, we are gonna have our first chance to open up some retail on this channel. All the Series 2 videos I've made so far have all been hobby, and I know plenty of you have had a chance to probably get your hands on Series 2 by now. However, this is my first chance to pick up some retail. I guess that's not actually true. I was in a store that had some, and I just passed on it one day, but my first chance to actually purchase it and bring it home. So, obviously, 32 cards. I uh, have seen other people open this. My buddy Kevin at Kevin's Budget Cards Breaks has opened up some retail versions of Series 2, and I know the Stars of the MLB cards are back. Uh, and right off the jump, we got a pretty good rookie. Obviously, the Holy Grail here would be one of the short prints of Torkelson Witt or Julio Rodriguez. Uh, not very likely to happen in a blister pack, but you never know. I have seen people post that they pulled them out of retail packs and even some just blasters and stuff. So there's a Joey Votto, Stars of the MLB, retail only. First time I've picked up one of those on my own. I've had some that I've acquired in breaks. Uh, so pack number one, only the one insert there. And then pack number two is coming up. So these are, I believe, $6.98 maybe, $6 or $7. So probably not your best bet in terms of, oh, looks like we have a couple inserts in there. Maybe one of the 1987 cards as well. Maybe not your best bet in terms of uh, possibility of pulling an insert or short print just because that first pack only had one. Connor Seabold rookie there. We got a Topps Chrome version of the Stars of the MLB for Paul Goldschmidt. I can get it back down on camera here. Got a 1987. Oh, it is a Seattle Mariner, but Mitch Hanniger, who I believe is still injured. I think he's on his way back. And then we have the other Paul Goldschmidt. So back to back Paul Goldschmidt's. One is the Chrome version. One is just the rainbow foil version. The logo there in the top right corner, obviously, is a little bit different on both. And then to wrap it up, we have Canna, Alfonso Rivas, Bodie, Michael Chavis, and Stephen Ridings, rookie card for the Yankees. So uh, there you kind of see the difference between the two packs. Looks like we end up with four inserts out of the 32 cards, which isn't too bad, but obviously... Uh, you probably have better odds of getting something really nice out of something like a hanger box or a blaster. Although, I don't know, hanger boxes can sometimes be absolute absolute fire, and then they can also be complete duds. But you get 67 cards. I believe this is, uh, I don't know, $14 maybe, $15? I don't remember exactly. I'm so glad they switched to the blaster or hanger boxes like this that open up from the side like Donner's and Panini did. Uh, in years prior, just, man, if you remember the old hanger boxes, you know, open them from the bottom and people could, you have to probably open it from the bottom and it's just hard to get in there and people could trash them and stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this so we save the potential high quality stuff for the very end. We got Jonathan India sitting there waiting for us as the top of the card or top of the actual pack. There's three Marlins pit, uh, players, Rojas, Sanchez, Pablo Lopez, Man, all those guys stay healthy. Marlins pitching staff, if they can ever get enough offense, along with this guy, Edward Cabrera uh, and Alcantara, holy cow, they can be absolutely filthy. And no fun. Man, to think about like a three-game three, three game series, you got to face those guys. No thank you. Max Muncy, Luis Garcia, Cooper Criswell there. Um, so not really expecting to see anything too crazy till we get to those cards at the very, very end. So I'll speed it up a little bit. Obviously, most of you know Series 2 by this point doesn't have um, anything too desirable in terms of just base rookie cards besides the O'Neill Cruz and then the short prints and stuff. If we were to find them, would be there right before all those shiny inserts you can see kind of sticking out at the very, very end. Casey Mize, I hope he can get healthy and get back on track because number one overall pick and just hasn't quite been able to um, put it together at the MLB level and just has had success. There's Alcantara, speak of the devil, um, about everywhere he's been, speaking of Casey Mize. Anyway, uh, there's Grisham for San Diego. Not sure how much playing time he'll get now, addition of Soto and everybody. And now we get to the landscape, team cards, Machado is a nice one. 
Severino. Okay, so if there's going to be something nice, we should be getting to about that territory here. So I'll slow it down just a smidge. We got Connor Siebold. Saw him in the blister pack just a minute ago. We are rolling through landscape. It'd be nice to get that Julio Rodriguez since this is landscape as well. Oh, we got Alonzo and Lindor. And then the insert. So maybe no uh, short prints in this one. Xander Bogarts, Tops Chrome, Stars of the MLB. Oh, we do have a gold this time. It's Bryce Wilson, though. Gold Bryce Wilson, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher. Numbered out of 2022, 1535. Not bad at all. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, Stars of the MLB, Ozzy Alves, Adolis Garcia, and JD Martinez. So uh, that should take care of the Stars of the MLB. The last few insert cards, we have Rafi Devers, in the 87 All-Star Edition, and Xander Bogarts, his buddy there for the Red Sox. Sweet Shades, and then these last few will just be base cards, Patino, Guriel, and Jordan Lyles. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to wrap this up in about six minutes, so thank you so much for watching. Did not come through with any of the um, crazy short prints, but the odds would always have favored that anyway. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you.